each character in a computer has a value. There's something called ASCII or something, which stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. A in ASCII value is 64, or, or 65, just capital A. Now, there's a lot you can do with these numbers, and I've seen a few people do what I'm going to show you, but I thought it'd be fun to do it myself. And for the sake of showing you how easy this is to do, I'm going to make it in Godot. Text to image converter. This is so fun to play around with, yet it's so simple. Now this video is very different from my usual, so if you're brand new, don't get too used to these style of videos, but I may do more in the future, so subscribing is still pretty epic. Any text can be converted into an image. There are a few methods, but the one I went with is sorting every three characters into one pixel. I'll call them characters, but a character is basically just like a letter or like just full stop, a space, colon, A, B, C, numbers, they're, they're all called characters. So I get the value of one character, put it into the R value, then get the next one into G and so forth, and that will make up one pixel. To properly do this, I first get the text and loop through each character in it and convert it into ASCII. Then detect what loop we are on, so loop zero to loop two, so three loops in total. And depending on the loop, that decides what color channel to assign the converted text. So if it was loop one, the character goes into the green channel. If it was loop two, it would go into the blue. Once the first pixel is made, it then gets put into unrendered output variable, which is an array that just holds each pixel. I also make sure that a pixel always has three values, even if there isn't enough characters to fill it. If there isn't enough characters to fill a pixel, then the other channels will just be set to zero. After that, I calculate a square based on how many pixels there are. Not sure if this method of doing it is good, but it works and that's really all I care about. After that, I simply create the image with the calculated resolution. Now with the resolution, I loop through the x-axis through the y-axis, if that makes any sense. So it starts on y and then loops through x and once it's done, it will then go to the next y up. Due to the way that resolution is calculated into a square, there may be more pixels than needed, so I have to make sure I don't try and grab an index from the array that doesn't even exist. I do this by counting every time a pixel is coloured, and if the counter is bigger than the array, then I just set the pixel to black. Once the image is finished colouring in, I just display it on a texture node in the main scene. It's really that simple. Now, just for notice, there are a few characters in this that cannot be displayed. I'm not sure why, but it has something to do with something called like ASCII Latin-1 or something. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll mention a fix super soon. The next part that I want to add is an image to text conversion. And this part is even simpler because we don't have to do any array sorting crap. For image to text, all you have to do is loop through the Y and X, just like we did when painting the pixels. But instead of setting the pixel color, we need to get the pixel color and convert it back into a character. Now I made a function called pfix that just sets the character into one that is readable by Latin-1 thingy that I mentioned before. I don't know why, but Godot just has some errors with it. Cool part about this is that if you convert the text back into an image, it changes the color a little. It used to distort it like crazy. For example, here's a picture of Marcus Pearson, the guy that made Minecraft originally. Now I have turned off the color clamp, so if I converted it to text and back into an image, it goes from this to this, which is really cool, but not what we want at all. If you want to try this software out for yourself, I wrote the whole saving loading image thing really poorly. And to load an image, you have to go into %app.data% percent slash translator and then put in your image into the folder and name it image with a capital I. If you press save, it will also create the image file in %app.data% percent slash translator. And instead of typing %app.data% percent slash translator or whatever, I'm like looking through your files to try and find it. You can just press open file directory in the software and it will take you there immediately. Download is in my Discord server. Discord server is always in the description and probably comment section. Hope you enjoyed and learned something interesting. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, see ya.